So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history. Are you ready? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! We'll try this game again, shall we? It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the hive. It's Barnet v the Dog and Duck in the Vanarama National League. So everyone's been asking where that pitch hold up. Our media team's been giving us endless updates regarding the situation. Everyone's been commending them on doing the job that they're paid to do. You may as well start thanking your postman bringing your post. I used to be a bin man. All I got was shit every day. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, I'm out. But anyway, that's another chat and bollocks. Let's get the football news! No one needs to see the league table. We've got about 4 million games in hand. We're sitting mid-table. And the pub team is still banging refs. But the last five have been two wins, two draws, and one loss. <laughs> Luke Garrard has now taken 233 games, winning 81, drawing 75, losing 77, gives him a win percentage of 34.76. <laughs> Number nine, Kabongo Shimanga, who has 18 goals, one assist in 35 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. The first of the first 2019, Barnet won, the pub team won. Mason Clark getting our only goal of the game. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, dog and duck. You think you're sitting pretty when we both know you're out of your debt in this league. Now run along and join the Queen Vic, the Wolfpack, the Nags Ed, and the Rovers return before you embarrass yourself live on TV again, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. Starting lineup for Barnet tonight in a 3 5 2. Loach in between the sticks. Your three centre arse of Captain Elliot Johnson, Ricardo Santos, and Callum Reynolds. Shad Alexander is your right wing back. Dan Sparks is your left wing back. Three flat centre mids of Ari Taylor, Charlie Adams, and Dan Sweeney. And up front, Paul McCallum and Simon Akinola. And this is at a pub team lineup in a 3 5 2. Six minutes in, currently 0 0. Not a lot to talk about apart from our first what? opportunity on goal. It's nearly an own goal. Smith whips the ball in. Santos with a total own header. Loach on his Toes, quick reactions to push it out, otherwise that would have been 1-0, own goal. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Get in there! 11 minutes in, Barnet 1, Dog and Duck 0. What a goal. Callum Reynolds, take our ball, son! Always waited, Reynolds. Long throw in from McCallum. Dan Sparks drops the shoulder, whips the ball in, gets flicked to the round. It lands nicely to Reynolds. On the half volley. No chance for Ashmore. Top corner. Get in there. 20 minutes in, we're still 1-0 up. Another referee mask. Sparks was a free kick in, all the way to the back post. Santos up, just with the post. Couple of minutes later, long ball the way to Reed. It's got all the time in the world. You can't leave a guy like that. He's good in the air. Time to bring the ball down. Plays it off to Mars. Mars gets a shot off. Loach pushes wide. Half hour in, scoring change. Opportunity for the dog and duck here. Thomas beats Shay Dan at right hand side. It's a ball in along the floor. Shamanga gets the turn as a shot. Loach pushes wide for a corner. Nothing came of that. Poor defending by us there. Five to the half. We're still currently leading. Dog and duck have done well in parts, but we're leading, and that's all that matters.
half time here at the Hive and it's by one, it's dog and duck nil. That's been a very good half from us. Game management, spot on. By far the better team in this first 45 minutes. Opportunities at both ends. It got a little bit far in the last few minutes of added time. We don't want to drop down to their level. They haven't really been in this game. We've gave them a few opportunities. Reynolds is trying to do his best Terry Butcher impersonation with a bandage around his head. Loach is still with everything that's been thrown at him so far. We're giving Reed far too much space. They're just going to get one opportunity and score it. We've seen it time and time again. We've been far too wasteful in the final third, like we always are. There's a nice bit of movement between Sparks, individual skills to Akinola. Took too long to pull the trigger. We're only at the halfway point. It's only half a job done. It's all to play for in that second half where anything can happen. Come on, Barnett. Sixty minutes in, we're still leading. Dog the duck has started to bite her in this half. We're pinned back in our half, we're not getting out quick enough, and then when we get in the ball, we're just launching it up front. Wasteful because no one's holding it up and then they just clean it up, laying it back in again. Need to ride this storm right now. And there we have it, sixty minutes in, Barnet won, the pub team won. Second half, it's been dog and duck. They've controlled the play and they've pinned us back and we've panicked. Smith gets a shot off, beats Loach, and then they're back into the game. First half, we had our tactics down to a tee. They've had a rocket up their arse and now we look like the pub team. Three minutes after that, pub team, another dangerous attack. Reed at the back post, so much space. He gets his header away, but nothing that Loach can't handle. Since Reynolds has come off, it's gone to pop now. Dunny's in the middle and we've got no shape in that midfield now at all. Harry Taylor's had to drop at centre back. Game's changed. Need to see where the plan B is going to come from. Ten minutes it's later, the pub team are now in front, leading 2-1. Are you on drugs? Are you fucking on drugs? Why can't we defend our line? Corner whips in, bounce around, back and forth, back and forth, flick on, lands to Marsh, he's only got to tap it in. That's fucking shit from us this half. Where's the plan B? Got any ideas, anyone? They've been all over us. They deserve the lead the way that they've played. <laughs> 15 minutes to go. Our only attack on this half, but we're back in the game. Barnet 2, Pub Team 2. This move came all from our right hand side. Shea plays into Mason Clark. He holds the ball up. Shea continues his run. He plays back into Shea. Gets to the byline. Puts the ball in. McCallum. What a goal. We're back into this now. Being honest, we haven't deserved anything out of this half, but that was the best movement we've had into 90th. It's currently 2 2. So the game finished, Barnet 2, Dog and Duck 2. This game could have gone either way, but I think we threw this one away. That's what happens when you don't take your chances, you dither in front of goal and on the ball. By far the better team in the first half. Tactics were spot on, game management was spot on. We dictated the pace of the game, but we just failed to kill the game off when we're in front of goal. Reynolds coming off at half time forced our hand into a change. And as soon as that happened, our shape was all over the gaff. Should have just went simple, 4-4-2. Four, four, was 1-0 up, we didn't need to chase the game, just keep the ball. We had plenty of options. Mason Clark or Valetti for Reynolds to go on the right wing. Sparks moved into the left wing. Harry Taylor or Sweeney drops in at centre half and everything else falls into place. But the wrong sub was made in Dunn coming on and we had no movement at all. And then the pub team overran our midfield. We was pinned back all the time. We couldn't get out of our half. Every time we got the ball, launched it up front, lost it, they're on the counter attack again. Pub team was playing the better high and pressing football. We gave Matt Reed far too much time and space. Poor defending and organisation costing in that second half. And now we're 2 1 down. Couldn't beat a bunch of part timers three levels below us last week. And now we're losing to a team that we ain't beat since being relegated. The only movement we had in that second half was the one that got us back in the game. McCannum hit the post from a Sparks free kick late on in the game. But individual errors from our coaching staff and players cost us this win. I think we're stuck in this league. Nothing but mid table at best. Stop all County up next. Away. You know what to do. Ta da. Are you? What in the fuck are you doing? <laughs>